Okay, people, I'm going to teach you how to make a smooth flash. Okay, so first you go to your flash and knife. <coughs> Hold on, my computer's going slow. Okay, now, um, first, gotta make that, okay, so this is your background layer and stuff, just make it whatever color, whatever, okay, and, um, you lock that and you add a new one, and then, okay, so, this is where the tricky part comes, well, I usually zoom into 800, but, like, when I first did it, it was, like, pretty, uh, small. So I don't, this is probably gonna be small. But, when you do it, when you do it, it has to be, like, good movements. You know, like, every movement has to be exact. That oh, crap. So, like, he bends down, because he's getting ready to run. Now this isn't my best, but I'm just showing an example. <laughs> Gotta do that. <coughs> okay, next frame. Make the leg go out. Make the arms go out. You know what, this is kind of like pivot. You gotta make the movements, um, like, easy, you know? But this, I guess, it's a little different, like, you don't have to ease as much, because it's so all look good, but you just have to make the movements look pretty realistic, even though it's, you know, it's a little animation, but it just has to be realistic. Okay, then, that's a gay head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you do this, you curve it make his arms go like that make the leg go out his arms go out. and you basically repeat that running cycle good you know like smooth it looks pretty good when you when you test it Okay, so, I don't really feel like doing it anymore, so, it looks okay. And then, I usually just do them crashing on something, uh, so, zooming back. Tron landing. Then. Drawing up. This is kind of crappy because I'm just, you know, just doing a really example. And then you and I just don't want make that to happen, fall. You know? Okay. Well, if they say it's not there, then I guess it's not there. <laughs> Because I was moving it. Well, you need to get it all put back, please. Well, I will. Sorry for that interruption. That was my mom. She's being annoying. And I press F6 so he just looks like he's dead. Okay, so it'll look cool. Okay, bye. Okay. This is what it should look like.
It kind of looks stupid when he jumps, but... But you get the idea. And then, for blood, I just go back to the part where he jumps and then smacks his face in the ground. You know, I actually make the blood, um, the, the size of the pen is smaller because it looks, you know, like cooler. I usually, I'll just use the line tool, just, what the hell? Okay, hold on. Ah! Wait, line tool. Dude, kidding me? Fine. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll just not use that. Then, just make it go out more. Out more. And I kind of make it smaller. So it should look good. Okay. It's not like my best. But then when you add blood on the background, it looks way better. Ow. Uh. Oh yeah, this will do this. I don't know why. Like, it'll just do that thing retarded and then you copy the frame and then you go to the part where you hit it make it bloody red then I make a big splat a big splat for no reason splat it looks cool when it's out zoomed And then it's there for the rest of the time. Okay. So you get the idea of the smoothness, so that's basically it. See you next time.